Okay, in this part, you will learn how to connect a serious UHF reader by TCIP interface. But first, ensure you have inserted the net cable into the RJ45 port and another end connected to the routers or switch. Then you can just scan, uh, scan the port and you know it is is IPs or just to scan network through here and start it okay now you just find the IPs this IP is default IP is uh, 192.168.1 and 2 and now you can just setting is parameters Okay, these parameters can be set at here. If it's just uh, in local, you can just set it here. The current is, is uh, it's in this network sector. Okay, one sector. And also, you can just set the remote IPs and which make the reader as listening, make reader as, uh, as client, and the PC as server, or you can just uh, a DHA. JCP to get the uh, directly get the IPs for example read okay simply the help and just read the parameters okay you see uh, you, if you click the DHCP it will uh, how to how to configure how to configure IPs yes and hearing we because our router is, uh, IP is here, yeah, this is a uh, router IP, and it is how to configure IP as 3.335. Then you can just connect it, open the reader. Oh, sorry, 55. Hmm? Scan network, start. Oh, son. oh sorry. 33, 36. Open. And now it's just uh, listening. Again, you can see this and uh, this one. It's a detect the text. And uh, you just read the parameters here. And also, if you want to hear the beeps, just check here and set. You hear the beeps? Yeah, it's just read the text. So we just disable the buzzer. And now check that. You can just uh, reading the interface must select as RJ45. Okay. And if you if your readers are Wi-Fi. A Wi-Fi interface, you can just set, set as Wi-Fi. And hearing reconnected by the RJ45, so we use this one. And also, if you uh, if this with 4G, uh, 4G modules, you can see you can just select this one. And hearing will just demonstration of RJ45. Okay. Now we can just test it, and uh, and uh, make it an active model. You can see. Uh, we detected four text here. Okay, let's stop. But also, you can also uh, go to this network settings, and you will find these IPs. And it's also the settings, and use mark, IP, and uh, mark and gateway, and uh, and a port. And um, this following is a Wi-Fi setting, but Wi-Fi setting for the SSID and password, and also if it's 4G, 4G, mm, uh, 4G mod, 4G with 4G interface, then you can just setting, setting the parameter here, and also you can just connect it to the remote servers, and uh, hearing because my because uh, three uh, this reader was just directly inserting to the router, and uh, and our PCs here, you can just see that uh, you 
you can see that it was 3.25 and uh, it's a laptop laptop is 3.5 so we can just uh, setting this setting this parameter here as setting PC as, as this one and uh, you can just uh, uh, you can just uh, listen listen this listen to this uh, uh, reader date okay now give you some illustration okay now it found the date here you see that and we just listen to these readers and you can just uh, uh, listen to other readers here for example uh, other because for example you just uh, listen to 10 readers or actors so you can also uh, this is the date you fetch it and which is the text IDs yes so so this function is uh, so this table is the network test so you can just uh, use this test to to, uh, to test the connectivities and use this interface to setting networks and also if so do uh, DNS remote DNS uh, domains for example you could just uh, go to uh, using the uh, for example is connected to cloud based to servers you can just uh, set in uh, here or just to use the remote IPs to connect to to connect to cloud based server okay so this is uh, so this is the network connection and the parameter settings okay Thank you for watching.